Oh, son of a... Oh, that hurts. I'm okay. Don't worry, Johnny. I'm wrong. Hey everyone, Grant Kai Hai here. Welcome to my shop. In this video, you're watching me make a table for the Allards, sweet friends of mine here in Moose Lake. When we began discussing the commission, among their priorities for this table was safety and health in their home environment. They have two little ones in their home that they want to give a healthy life to. They didn't want to bring in a table with a finish on it that would also bring toxins with it. I resonated with this concern. One of the benefits of being self-employed is that I can prioritize my concerns. I've spent enough time in commercial shops to notice the negative effects of commercial finishes on the human body. Some of my former colleagues who had been finishers for decades had chronic coughs and other respiratory ailments. They shrugged this off as part of the job or just ignored it outright. And let me just say that our employer provided us with ample safety equipment to use, but the demands of the job and in the moment comfort made it difficult to make the choice to put on the respirator for 10 hours a day. This firsthand experience has led me away from HVLP spraying and products with VOCs and HAPs. Over the last several years, I've experimented with different options and my first choice for wood finishes is now a product called Odie's Oil. And uh, before I tell you about Odie's Oil, you ought to understand something about me. At the root of most of my choices in life, there is a wild fantasy informing my decisions. <laughs> the fantasy that makes me take care of my health is informed by a scene from a movie called Second Hand Lions and a character named Hub played by Robert Duvall. <laughs> if you haven't seen Secondhand Lions, highly recommend it. Easily top five favorite family movies. It stars Robert Duvall and Michael Caine. And they play these crotchety old brothers who are forced into taking care of and raising their nephew. And the movie plays out, and as it turns out, uh, the boy is the best thing that ever happened to these brothers, and vice versa. Check it out. Anyways, the specific scene uh, is where they have a pet lion, a literal second-hand lion that they bought from a circus. And this lion dies of heart failure while attacking a bad guy. Um, as the dust settles and the characters take in what has happened, Hub says, She died with her boots on. That's the main thing. I love that sentiment. Now, I'm not overly concerned with the length of my life, but rather the quality of the days that make it up. I want the end to come swiftly with me in my boots, either in the shop making something beautiful or in a canoe taking in something beautiful. But, alas, I am a fallen mortal, and there ultimately is no safety or guarantee attached to my gift of life on this green earth but I'm going to live in such a way so as to improve my odds of living a healthy life. And that means while I'm in the shop, I'm going to put on my hearing protection because my grandkids' voices will be beautiful. It means wearing safety glasses because there's a sunset in 2072 that I'm going to want to see. And it means using a finish that preserves my strength to breathe clean north woods air so I can stand strong for as long as God wills it. The Allards will be joining me in this vision, and you can too. Take care of yourselves.
A little end note here. Um, I said I was going to tell you about uh, Odie's oil, um, and I will. I don't really care about much about telling you how I would work. Uh, this channel is mostly focused on why I would work, but briefly because I know some people will be curious. I use Odie's oil on pretty much everything I make. Um, it's made from all organic materials. Um, Basically, in the simplest and most understated terms, it's distilled from orange peels. That's kind of the base of it. Um, and it has no VOCs in it, which are volatile organic compounds. That means like, so say you open a can of polyurethane or varnish uh, or shellac or, you know, lac or whatever. A majority of what's in that can is going to evaporate uh, in the finishing process. And those are VOCs. So they're changing state as the finish is drying. So Odie's oil doesn't have anything like that in it, uh, which means there's no nasties coming off your project as you work on it. Um, anyways, it's it performs really well. It looks amazing um, on, the, uh, on the wood, which of course is the first priority. Uh, it's food safe. I use it on my cutting boards. I use it on my tabletops, all my artwork and candlesticks and all that stuff. Um, I recommend you try it out if you're a, a DIY guy or if you're another furniture maker, professional woodworker watching this, give it a shot. Be patient with it. It's very different from other products. Anyways, I just wanted to uh, leave that little tidbit here at the end of this recording. Uh, thanks for watching my videos and uh, have a great day. Stay healthy. Dinner is served.